Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Elgato Wave 3. This is a tips and tricks video to help you remove background noise from your microphone. If you have the mic and you've just set it up and it sounds a little bit like this with all this excessive background noise, that includes the sounds of birds chirping, the mash of a keyboard and fans whirring in the background, then good news because I'm about to show you how to improve that audio and reduce this problem in a number of different ways. The first thing to be aware of is that the Elgato Wave 3 is a cardioid microphone so you need to get it pointed towards your face, you also need to get it as close to your face as possible. Two fist lengths they recommend is the distance you should have it and you should also get it off your desk if you can and onto a nice boom arm and I'll leave a link in the description to this boom arm that I'm using here. That then puts it close to your face and away from your keyboard and other things. That then allows you to reduce the gain on it so go into the sound settings either in the Wavelink software in Windows or on the mic itself and put that gain all the way down. So you can see it here, I'll show you in Windows quickly. Find your input, go to device properties, additional device properties, click on that and then that will open up the settings for your audio inputs and then there, turn off enhancements, disable in all enhancements and then go into levels. Set your mic level to around 20. You'll find it's probably 100 when it first comes out of the box. You want it somewhere between 20 and 30. You might have to experiment and tweak around with it and see if you can get it better. The best way to do this is to actually listen to this device. So click listen and click apply and then just listen back through your headphones or whatever you're using to see how much audio you can hear when you're not actually using the mic. So whether you hear the fan noise, whether you hear the whistle of wind or other problems, just check that and see how it sounds and adjust the levels a little bit more. Obviously, the lower it goes, the less noise it picks up. So you might have to talk more loudly, but that's why you put it close to your face. Next step, you can look in the Wavelength software, which I'll link to in the description. This comes with the Wave 3 and allows you to tweak a bit more. You can see in here on the inputs you can adjust the gain level. You also note that enhanced low cut filter and clip guard are ticked as standard. Make sure those are ticked as well because they're helpful for other reasons. Just adjusting the gain by default all the way up to maximum, you can see the levels being monitored here. There is nothing going on in the background apart from some typing from behind me. And yet, those levels were showing just how much sound the mic was picking up. So even without monitoring it, you can see if you've got those levels too high, you can see how much sound it's picking up. So a visual representation of that audio is very useful to let you know if you've got a problem. Now I'm going to show you other ways to do it because you might be using this for streaming with OBS or live streaming or other things or recording audio. So here we go into OBS Studio. The same logic applies to OBS Streamlabs and I'm going to leave some links to other videos that go into a bit more depth on this sort of thing because there are loads of good videos out there. But once you've set the mic up in OBS, you've set that as an audio source for your mic as the Wave 3. If you right click on the cog down here you can then click on filters. If you go into filters you can apply a new filter by simply clicking the plus button. You'll notice there's a noise suppression option here. You can then suppress the level of noise the mic's picking up and you'll note it does minus 30 decibels as standard. If you play around with this you'll see the levels appearing in the display at the bottom in the audio mixer and again if you're seeing levels coming in when you're not talking or not making a sound you want the mic to pick up then you know it's still picking up too much so you can tweak that suppression and adjust it to compensate and get rid of some of that. There's other things you can do as well with gain and other settings in here that you can play around with. There are much better more in-depth videos online that I'll link to that will be very useful for you but as a basic level you can add noise suppression in to cut out some of that background noise. It's worth bearing in mind that this will impact the quality of the audio so too much suppression might be a problem you might find your voice is cutting out so you want to try and reduce the amount of sound in the room as much as possible and that means basically getting the mic closer to you and reducing any other noise on it by reducing the gain. Another thing you can do if you have an Nvidia graphics card especially one of the newer ones the RTX series 2060, 2070, 2080 
you can use NVIDIA's RTX Voice software. This is another download, but it's also free, and it uses your graphics card and intelligently removes background noise from the audio. It's a very clever system. If you search around on YouTube, you'll see other videos of people demonstrating how effective it is. It takes out all sorts of background noise, including people banging on their desks, banging frying pans, hitting things with hammers. It's brilliant. It's very clever. It does unfortunately require an NVIDIA graphics card. There are ways around it where you can use a 10 series graphics card, uh, but it does obviously put a bit of extra tax on your GPU, so you need a decent graphics card to be able to run it however it is fantastic once you've downloaded that software you then basically set in your mic input and your headset in the input and output in the same way you sort of would do with your Windows sound settings and there's more detailed setup guides and I'll link to those in the official NVIDIA pages so you can see on how to set it up but basically the process is pretty simple you're setting your standard Windows sounds as the RTX software and then you set within the RTX software your actual microphone. So in this case, the Wave 3. Then the Wave 3 goes through that RTX voice software and gets edited down. And then you can pull the RTX voice into OBS as well and do it that way. You're then letting the software do the work and then going into OBS and coming out cutting out all that background noise. So here you go into settings, you go audio, and instead of setting, setting the microphone, you select your microphone as NVIDIA RTX voice, and then that will reduce the problem of background noise. And that's a cheap way of doing it if you have the right equipment, because it means you don't have to buy a little soundproofing for your room and extra things that are gonna cost you a fortune. So it's a great way of doing it. Get that microphone up off the desk and apply RTX voice, that will definitely reduce the problem. Here you can see me demonstrating using a mechanical keyboard typing on that keyboard quite near the mic, just below it, and you can see RTX voice is cutting that all out because the levels aren't being picked up in the audio mixer, so although you can't hear it on the recording in the vid YouTube video, this is actually happening live and it's not being picked up by OBS. I unfortunately couldn't do it because I had a very noisy house with kids running around, but I wanted to be able to demonstrate still that it works fantastically. The next one you can do is something that I do regularly with Audacity. Audacity is a free program that you can use. I record all my voiceovers with Audacity. I can then go in, normalize the levels and remove any excessive background noise. Start your recording and let it run for a little bit so you have a blank bit at the beginning. Once you've recorded a clip, I then go in, select the whole thing, go into Effects, Normalize. That sets all the levels so that they're the same. You can see at the beginning you then have a large chunk of sound, which is essentially fan noise, keyboard noise, wind, and other background environmental noise. That's what we want to get rid of, but that is also what we want to use as a sample. So you select that, you go back into effects, you go noise reduction, get noise profile. Then Audacity can work its magic. Once you select the entire clip, you can click to apply the noise reduction. You see immediately that beginning noise is cut out and it also removes it from the bit where your voice is. It therefore reduces all that issue and makes it a much better quality. If you find that that it's still a little bit of excessive noise in there. You can actually reapply it. So control all again, and then you see that line flattens out even more. The more you do it, however, the more impact that has on the quality of the recording. I find one pass is usually the best. If you do more than that, you'll find the quality degrades and it becomes a bit rubbish not as good but these are multiple different ways to reduce the noise and the background noise on this microphone and the various ways you can do it you have the live capabilities you have simple things of adjusting where the mic sits get it off the stand that's on your desk get it close to your face turn that gain all the way down and then use these different pieces of software that are all free to improve the audio quality. Hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out all the links and information in the description. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.